Um, it isn't the sitting in a lecture theatre being told stuff. Um, it isn't going into the workshops and, and doing stuff. Again, that's great, but that's not the thing I really love. <laughs> the thing I really love is the stuff we did in the atrium up at the building up there, which is just meeting people and talking to people and sharing ideas and discussing things and talking about what works and dis discussing what doesn't and those kind of things. And I really like that. And I get to do that three times a year. I get to do it here and I get to do it twice at the working group meeting. Um, but being selfish, and I am very selfish, three times a year isn't enough for me. I want to do more of that. Um, and so I do. So what I did was I, I set up a flash meeting, um, which thankfully doesn't cost anything. And hopefully the sound is off. Um, and there's me. Oh, it's horrible. We'll skip. So it's not me. It's Alan. Um, and so basically once a month, what I do is I organize a flash meeting. Um, and all you need is a web browser and an internet, internet connection. That's all you need. If you've got a, a microphone and a pair of headphones and a webcam, it's better. Um, but you don't need them, you just need a web browser and an internet connection. And all we do is we meet for about an hour and a half, once a month, um, and we discuss stuff. And there's a wiki that anyone can edit with an agenda. Uh, the next meeting is Monday, as it happens, straight after the conference. Um, and anyone can add stuff to the agenda and we just sit for an hour and a half and we talk about stuff. We've talked about VLEs, we've talked about programming languages, we've talked about techniques in terms of coding, we've talked about theory stuff, we've talked about universities, and, and anything somebody wants to talk about, we can talk about, and it's really enjoyable and it's really good fun, and we get the, we get the best bits of the conference stuff without having to get two days off school, without having to pay for a hotel room, without having to pay for a train ticket, without having to get everyone together in one place, which is really hard to do. And we can do it every month for free um, in our spare time, because we have no social lives, clearly. But it's really good and it's really enjoyable. Um, there are two websites associated with it. I'll take Alan off now. Um, but if, all you have to do is search. This is Chrome, isn't it? All you have to do is search for Kaz Roundup. And there are two websites. Oops. Helps you can spell. Um, no. Kaz Roundup. The four free glasses of wine. Um, and the first link is to the wiki. And the wiki um, has the links to where the meetings are and when the meetings are and the agendas. And anyone can go on and just edit them. And the third link, as it happens at the minute, is the podcast, which is just a WordPress site. It's also on iTunes. Um, and at the end of the meeting, I record all the audio and just kind of top and tail it and stick it on iTunes. And there's a podcast, so while you're doing the washing up or the commute or whatever, you can listen to the stuff that was said, um, either because you couldn't make it to the meeting or because you've missed bits, you want to recap them. Um, and, and that's it. And it's just it's really enjoyable. It's really fun. I really enjoy it. And I would encourage you to, to join in and, and get involved. And that's it.